Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Heather and today I'm gonna do my November book haul. So I actually didn't buy a whole lot of books in November. I did, however, buy a whole lot of Funko Pops. <laughs> so I was trying to be good and not buy books and I ended up buying Funko Pops instead. A couple of you had uh, said that you would like to see the Funko Pops that I got. So I will go ahead and include those on this video, but I will do the books first. So starting with the books, <laughs> I'm missing one of the ones <laughs> that I bought. My mom usually comes over and borrows a few books at a time, and this is one of the books that she currently has <laughs> that I don't have. <laughs> and that was Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I heard that this book is incredibly good, especially if you're someone who has anxiety. I really want to read it because when I read Eliza and Her Monsters, um, that book really, like, I really connected with that book and her anxieties and the problems that she was going through. And so to hear of another book where people are like, oh my goodness, yes, um, sounds really, really interesting. I really don't know too much else about it. I haven't read any of his books. That's right, I still haven't read any of his books. So maybe that'll finally be the first one that I read because it sounds really relevant to how I am a lot of the time because I have a lot of anxiety. So, so anyway, the books that I actually do have with me here today. First of all, I picked up the Mortal Instruments manga. I don't know, would you consider this manga? It's graphic novel, I guess, graphic novel. Mortal Instruments graphic novel number one. It's really, it's got some really neat art in it. I love the pictures that you get in like the front cover are really cool. So this came out, I was almost going to pick up the clockwork, uh, graphic novels as well, but they only had number one and number three. And I was like, oh. if they had had number two, I would have gotten all three of them because number two was missing. I was like, no, I'm going to be good. And I'm not going to get those. So yeah. <laughs> but now I'm kind of sad that I didn't get them. So. I don't like the TV show. I will say that right now in case anybody was wondering, I don't like the TV show. I don't like her acting. I just can't like, the book is bad enough when you have to read her. And then the lady's acting is really spot on. Like it's not, it's not bad, but it's, it's, it's bad, but it's good. Like it's so good. It's it's really bad. So <laughs> I'll just say that. Let's end that there. <laughs> I had picked that one up at Barnes & Noble and while I was there I also picked up the Barnes & Noble exclusive Renegades. I didn't realize that Target was having an exclusive one otherwise I would have waited for my Target to get one because my Target doesn't get them until like a month after the freaking release date a lot of the times. It's huge. It's huge. Okay when I first saw like previews for this book, like the pictures of the cover and everything like that, I did not realize how massively huge this book was going to be. I thought it was going to be like Daughter of the Burning City, you know, like not that huge. It's huge. This one, I don't know when I'm going to get to it because it's so massive. I might just take a month and be like, hmm, what are my thickest books that I possibly have? And try and read like two of them. <laughs> In November, I got the Glass Spare from my Owl Crate. I have already read this book <laughs> because I am filming this in December. So I've already read this one. It was really good. I highly recommend four out of five stars. I cannot wait for the next one. Super, super excited to read it. I'll probably pre-order it. Uh, probably five out of five. In November, I also went ahead and picked up The Red Queen. I picked this one up from Target. If you can't tell, I still have a sticker on here. Uh, this is the special edition that came out. It's got... Normally when it has fan art, like you'll see it up in the front covers, but this one actually has the fan art all throughout it. And I believe the pictures that you see correspond with what is going on in the story at that time. It's really pretty. It's really cool. I don't know if you can see this if it'll shine, but it looks like it's dripping up here and it says Red Queen. So I was not the hugest fan of this book, to be honest. <laughs> I gave it like three stars. I was like, oh my goodness. It was not that great, but I was like, all right, well, I'll read the second one and see how that is. Because the second and third one had been out at the time that I picked it up. And I read the second one and I was like, this is a horrible train wreck. 
and this is so, so bad, and I just don't want to read this anymore, but it's kind of like a car crash where you just can't look away. <laughs> so I read the third one, and the third one kind of redeemed it a little bit, and now there's a fourth one coming out, and I'm probably gonna read it. <laughs> but I was not a huge fan of this book, but I picked up the special edition because I was like, ooh, it's so pretty. So, yeah, so I picked this up. I'm not gonna go into what it's about because I'm not a huge fan. Somebody please tell me I'm not the only one that does that <laughs> or feels that way about that series. Like, the first one, eh. Second one, this is a car crash and I just, I can't help but keep watching it. And then the third one, I'm like, oh, this got a little bit better. And then now I'm gonna read the fourth one. It's bad, it's bad, you guys, it's bad. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> The next book that I picked up was All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Steve Otter. Maggie Steve Otter has written a lot of books. She's written a lot of books. There's The Raven Boys, uh, there's the other series, Shiver, Linger, Forever, there's The Scorpion Races. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of books. She's written a lot of books and most of them seem incredibly popular. Like, I don't think I've heard anything really bad about any of her books. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I don't really know anything about it. So anyway, it does seem really cool. I love the cover of this. It's really pretty. A lot of this uh, was a cover by. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So the last book that I picked up in November was Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. This one sounds super cool and really dark and kind of sinister and it's really exciting. Like this almost reminds me of a cross between Before She Ignites and Flame in the Mist. Like set up for greatness, but peasant, so a little different, but it's kind of like in that wheelhouse, you know? So it sounds really neat. It's got this beautiful, beautiful cover. I absolutely love the spine on this. Oh my goodness. The boards are pretty plain, but it is really, really pretty, and it sounds super cool and really dark and sinister, so very excited to get to this one. That was it for books. That was it. Now I am on to the Funko Pops. <sighs> There's a lot of Funko Pops, so I'm just gonna, like, show them to you guys <laughs> one by one. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> so, um, in my October wrap up and haul, I had shown you guys, I had done a mini unboxing and I'd shown you that I got the Sora Donald Goofy in the Tron outfits and I also had Halloween Town Sora and Halloween Town Donald. Uh, so I've been collecting more Kingdom Hearts ones and I got Chip and Dale. It's gonna be hard to see them and I do apologize, but I don't really wanna take them out of their box because I haven't decided where to put them yet. <laughs> So I got Chip and Dale, and I got Pete. He also comes in black and white, which was a Walmart exclusive. And I have found him online, but he's like 20, 25 bucks usually. And so I'm trying to find him somewhere cheaper. <laughs> okay, and then <laughs> I picked up <laughs> Mickey Mouse, <laughs> and I picked up Donald and Goofy. And these are just the regular ones that you see on the backs of the boxes. So. Mickey, King Mickey, and he's in his regular outfit. So he's just in his red and yellow and black Mickey Mouse Kingdom Hearts outfit. And then I have Donald who is holding his wand in front of him. And he's wearing more of like a, he's wearing like the floppy hat. It's not, it's not a pointy one, but yeah. So then there's just the regular Donald. And then I have the normal Goofy, the traditional Goofy with his classic shield out in front of him. And then on Amazon, I found two exclusive editions. This was a Hot Topic exclusive. Donald is wearing a wizard hat. He does not have his wand with him, but his hands are like out. So I did get this one. And then I also got Goofy, which was a GameStop exclusive. And he's wearing uh, armor, what looks like uh, a knight's armor. Now I'm only missing the one special edition Goofy of the uh, Halloween Town, <laughs> which is really impossible to find. And he's like 50 bucks now. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably never get him, but I got this one and this one's really cool. 
So Funko Pops is coming out with their second wave of Kingdom Hearts figures. And unfortunately, I missed the Organization 13 King Mickey that was on Box Lunch and apparently was released on November 28th, which I had no idea about. I didn't find out about it until like yesterday, so I'm still pretty bitter about that because to find him now is like another 25, 30 bucks for him. Anyway, while I was out and I had gone to Hot Topic, I had some rewards points that I wanted to use. I had like $10 in rewards to Hot Topic. When I went in, they were literally just unboxing some of the new Kingdom Hearts Funko Pops. So I was so excited. And I picked up Kyrie, Riku, and I got a Shadow Heartless. This is not the Chase Edition. There is like a one in six chance uh, of finding a chase edition where the Heartless's eyes glow in the dark. I was really excited to find all three of these because Hot Topic was having their three for 25 sale and then I had like $10 in rewards credits that I was able to apply for that. So I got these for a pretty low price and I'm really really happy with it because they're new Funko Pops. <laughs> so the next bunch of Funko Pops that I'm going to do are all of the Harry Potter Funkos that I got because who boy I got a lot of them. <laughs> so the first little guy is this one here. He's a dragon. <laughs> uh, and this one was one of the mystery minis. So there have been quite a few runs of Harry Potter Funko Pops and for some reason I've never really bought any <laughs> which I have no idea why, because I really think Funko Pops are super cool. I realized this one day and I just decided to buy a whole ton of Funko Pops, mainly Harry Potter ones. So yeah, that's okay. Here we go. <laughs> I found this one, Dolores Umbridge for $5 at GameStop. I got two different Rons. I have first year Ron and third year Ron. So these ones are really neat. This one, he has his, or sorry, this is second year Ron, and he has his broken wand, and this is third year Ron where he's holding scabbers. I have Remus Lupin, and then I have the Hot Topic Remus Lupin, where he is a werewolf. Ah, ah. I was so happy to snag this one. I saw this one, uh, and I was just, oh, I had to grab it. I had to grab it. So I'd gone to the local GameStop that I have here uh, in the valley instead of going all the way into Anchorage and I found both Fred with his briefcase and George with his box of Weasley's Wizard Wheeze treats and they were having a sale where if you bought three it was something or other and so I also grabbed a Mad-Eye Moody. These were the only ones, these were the only Harry Potter Funkos that they had there. It was just like these three. So I was pretty excited to find them. <laughs> and these were all from the same set of the series from the uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix set. So that was really cool to find them all. I also have Ron in his dress robes and Harry holding the Marauders map. So these ones again are really, really neat. I really love Ron in his dress robes. It's too funny. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> I found Peter Pettigrew while I was at a calendar store. I don't like Peter Pettigrew, but I figured I should buy him just to kind of round out the collection. <laughs> I have McGonagall. I'm honestly a little disappointed with McGonagall's Funko Pop. I don't know. She just, she doesn't look as like badass as she totally is. Like McGonagall's amazing and she's like one of my favorites, but this Funko Pop does not do her justice. She should totally come with a little cat. <laughs> I also found Sirius Black at the calendar store as well. You guys have already seen this one, but I have the Boggart dressed up as Snape in Neville's grandma's clothes. This is probably one of my favorite Funkos. <laughs> it's so freaking funny. 
I also found a Draco Malfoy. This is just the regular Draco Malfoy. I know there's a version of him where he's in his Quidditch robes. I found it online, but they want like 20, 25 bucks or something for him. So I haven't ordered that because it's expensive. And I also came across Neville. I found him at Barnes and Noble. I was super excited to find him. There's a couple others in this set that I don't have that I'm really, that I really want to get. Oh, while I was at Barnes and Noble, I also grabbed Ginny Weasley. This is just the regular Ginny from the year three Funkos. And then I also, while I was at Barnes and Noble, came across the Barnes and Noble exclusive Ginny where she is in her Quidditch robes. So this one's really, really cool. I could not pass this one up. I found Ron at one of the Hot Topics in town. We do have two Hot Topics in um, Anchorage, Alaska, and I found him at one of them. And then I found the matching Harry at the other one, and they are wearing their Mrs. Weasley sweaters with the H and the R on them, and they're super cool. When I went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter last year, I almost bought one of these sweaters, because my name is Heather, and it, so an H, and it's, yeah. I also found Hagrid when I was at uh, the Barnes and Noble, but I do love that Hagrid has his pink umbrella with him. Like that's, that's perfect. That's a perfect touch on that one. <laughs> so the last ones that I had gotten was the train set. I got these two at Barnes and Noble. I had had some 20% off coupons that I had gotten in the mail. And so I used those on these because these were expensive especially at Barnes and Noble but because I had the 20% off coupons the price wasn't too bad like I was okay with it I had gone to Hot Topic after being at Barnes and Noble and they had Harry Potter in the front train number 20 so I was super super excited he has his broken glasses so this is the year one Harry Potter and he's just so so cool and I love that it's the train the front of the train. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos with me and my books and my Funko Pops, <laughs> please be sure to click the like and the subscribe that are down below. You can also click the little bell icon to be notified as to when I've posted a new video. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I think I'm going to be setting up a Goodreads account soon. So keep an eye out for that. I maybe in the next video, I will have that up by then. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you tune in next time. Bye.